Welcome back everyone to Catherine's Plates. It's supper time and I'm going to bring you baked ziti. One of our favorite Italian style pasta dishes that we are going to make as a casserole for the oven. So delicious. If you're ready for this one, let's go ahead and get started putting this one together. Baked ziti has several layers. It's almost like making a lasagna, but easier. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna cook the pasta so we can get that started, and then we're gonna start the other layers. For the pasta, you're gonna need one large pot of boiling water. We're gonna add two tablespoons of salt. That will really help flavor our pasta. You're going to need one pound of penne pasta or ziti pasta, whichever one you can find or whichever one you have. You want to stir this for just a few seconds, kind of make sure that the pasta doesn't stick to the other pasta. We're not going to put oil in this or anything to kind of keep the pasta separated. This will do the trick right here. We're going to cook this per the instructions on the back of the box for al dente. So this will cook 11 minutes. Now while this is cooking, we're gonna start making our meat mixture. I'm gonna take one onion. It's just about a medium size. It's a yellow onion. Taking the ends off, I'm gonna peel off that outer layer. I'm gonna cut the onion in half. I'm going to go ahead and turn on my burner to a medium-high heat. Add about two tablespoons of some cooking oil. I use the avocado oil. It's got a great flavor to it. It's a very light oil and a clean oil, so it's really healthy for you. And I tend to use that a lot when I'm cooking. We're going to heat this up. Now I'm going to go back to my onion, and what I'm going to do is just chop it up and give it a nice dice to it. Okay, our oil is nice and heated up. We're going to go ahead and add the onion. I'm going to cook these down for two to three minutes until they get softened. And while that's happening, I'm going to go ahead and get my garlic ready. Now this is an Italian dish and I love garlic in Italian dishes. I'm going to be mincing up three cloves. I'm just going to take my clove, put a knife over it, and I'm just going to hit the side of the knife all the way down to the table. And the skin comes right off. I'm going to take my garlic press Put my garlic in. All right, we're going to add this to our onion. I cook this down for just 30 seconds to a minute. We're going to go ahead and add one and a half pounds of ground beef. I'm going to take my meat chopper and start breaking up the ground beef. And then I'm going to cook the ground beef until it's no longer pink. <laughs> the ground beef is nice and browned up. What we're going to do is add our pasta sauce. Now I've got two jars of our favorite pasta sauce, which is Classico, and these are 24 ounces each. So if you're making a homemade pasta sauce, then you would need about 48 ounces to go into your meat mixture here. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to drain my meat out, and then I'm going to add the pasta sauce. Now this flavor is tomato and basil. I'm going to add Italian seasoning to the sauce here, about one to two teaspoons. 
add a little bit of salt black pepper now the black pepper is about an eighth of a teaspoon the salt was a quarter of a teaspoon just going to mix this up really good I'm going to turn off the burner I'm going to pour this into my pasta now when the pasta is finished cooking we're going to drain it my pasta back into the pot we're going to mix this all together oh I can get a spoon right now now we need to make the binder that's going to hold this all together and it's called our cheese egg mixture so in a medium bowl we're going to add one cup of cottage cheese now i'm substituting this for the ingredient ricotta cheese so you can go either way but i grew up with cottage cheese and we really like the flavor of it it's a little saltier than ricotta cheese and it's got a kind of a curd to it right here that we like and it looks like that here to this we're going to add a quarter cup of shredded Parmesan cheese that's two cheeses right there then we got a third cheese going in this is mozzarella cheese and it's shredded one cup two tablespoons of dried parsley two eggs and a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. I'm just going to mix this together. Let's build our baked ziti. I have a large baking dish. I'm going to spray it with some cooking spray. This will just keep the pasta and the cheeses from sticking to our baking dish. Now I'm going to take half of the pasta meat mixture and place it in the bottom of our baking dish. Because we're layering. It'll make some really good leftovers. And since I have dessert day tomorrow, this will be a really good lunch to have. We're going to take half of our cheese egg mixture and just kind of dollop it all over our pasta meat mixture here. Then I'm just going to spread it out evenly because we want this to cook evenly. We're going to place half a cup of mozzarella cheese over the egg cheese mixture. Oh yeah, we're layering. We're going to place the rest of our pasta meat mixture on top of the mozzarella cheese. Now if you're using a smaller dish and you don't have enough room, hey, that's just leftovers for something else. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pack it into the freezer. That's why I suggest you use a deep dish to do this. I think that should be it right there. Like I have a serving size in there left over that'll make a good freezer meal. Ah, see what I did for y'all? <laughs> All right, we're going to add the rest of the cheese egg mixture. We're going to dollop it around and spread it out evenly. All right, 
ahead, we're going to cover that with the other half a cup of mozzarella cheese. Or in our case, I think it might be a cup. <laughs> Almost reminds me of putting a lasagna together, except this is a lot easier. Okay, boom. This is going in our oven that's been preheating at 375 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes. We're looking for this to be bubbly and that cheese to be nice and melted and golden brown. I'll be back. Okay, I am so ready. Let me dive in. She says she's ready. Been waiting all day for this. <laughs> Everyone has been, huh? That is worried about me. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, I see cheese. Oh. Mm. Baked ziti in Italian cheesy ground beef pasta casserole. Delicious. Mm. It's like a lazy way to make a lasagna. <laughs> it's so good. All the all your favorite flavors of Italian dishes right here. Mm. Here you go guys. Comment down below what you think. Give me a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification. That way you'll know when my shows are posted. I'm on Facebook. I have a recipe blog, www.catherinesplates.com. I will see you on my next episode. <laughs>